I used to take a plane. Today I'm playing Sally Bust again. Today I'm playing Sally Bust again. So last time I completed level 647, if I remember correctly. So this time I'm going to be doing level 648. That's where I'm going to be starting on Baby Dolls. This is a lot of sweet jars in the middle, isn't it? Gonna be satisfying thing to do, I feel. It's quite a nice looking aesthetic to the level, all the different coloured um, sweet jars in the different um, layers, isn't it, as well, I think. Looks like I'm having some problems though, doesn't it, getting the colours together. At least now we get a rejumbling, which should help us some, I believe. That was nice. Finally, we get something here. That was unlucky, wasn't it? You believe the luck I'm having the year, eh? Just terrible. Doesn't really help that my OCD is bad with how I feel rushed and whatnot as well. Oh, At least I get a power up at the start here, though, don't I? So I think it'll be best if we try to um, maybe shoot up the middle if it's an opportunity for power for it isn't, obviously. Hopefully this will shoot down with I yeah. Nice. 
slowly but surely I'm getting that stack of of sweet jars thinner and thinner, aren't I? Was hoping that would shoot down. Almost had a TNT box or a TNT detonator, didn't I? Oh, now I get it. So now we finally get to make a big dent in these after all. And when I say a dent, I mean managing to get rid of almost all of them in the one fell swoop. Or I digress, baby dolls. I do digress indeed. Could I get double Rubik's cubes here, I hope? Sure will be nice. And I do. Look at my skull, I'm guessing, gay baby dolls. Quite majestic. Quite majestic indeed, isn't it? So that was 648 that I did. Now let's go on to 649. And now we have fitted seams, holsters and bowling pins to deal with. Seems like I'm doing well. I can win. Nice. Now I'll just need to deal with the top set of bowling pins, don't I? And also start thinking about the urgency of the need for the toast slices, don't I? Now that did quite a lot of damage, didn't it? Well, just where I want it. Sideways shooting propeller. Double Rubik's Cubes. I 
think you should do this. Although I'm still behind on the toast per moves ratio, but don't think that'll matter now, to be honest, baby dolls, and it doesn't. That's another level done, isn't it, hey, baby dolls? Only in second, but no matter. So that was 649, wasn't it? So now on to 650 we go. That's a lot of reds I need, isn't it? Seems like this is going to be a very high scoring level indeed from our scores. And yeah, it does look like it'll be a bit tight at this early stage, doesn't it? Just a matter of getting the power-ups together, I feel. And once we start with that noble objective, things should soon, soon start going well, I believe. This is where I wanted baby dolls. And it nicely helps us to clear up the playing area, doesn't it? And we'll do that in earnest now, baby dolls. Although that amount of reds that I need is still staying alarmingly high, isn't it? Took me a while to see that, but I got there eventually, baby dolls. Mm. Very nice. To be honest, I am starting to think that maybe these double Rubik's cubes won't actually. Get me all the reds that I need. It's a bit difficult to say now, though, at this juncture, isn't it? Especially with how well I'm doing with getting all these double Rubik's cubes, and they do make quite a bit of a big dent on the amount of reds that I do need to get as well. So it's difficult to say, really, at this juncture, like I keep saying. I can't resist playing fancily, can I? Is there even a word fancily, I wonder? It's definitely going to be tight now, though, isn't it? Not sure if it's going to be enough for me to win, in fact. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win again, sadly, right now. Came really close, but closeness isn't good enough in the long run, is it, hey, baby dolls? There's an important life lesson for you to learn from my wise mind. Just where I want it again. But have I got it fast enough? That's the big question here, baby dolls. Nice. 
We're on our way to doing it now, aren't we? But I can't do it. It's important to keep that positive frame of mind after all, isn't it, baby dolls? Having a bit of a hard time, a, hard, a bit of a harder time getting those um, double Rubik's cubes now, though, aren't I? You know something? Let's just turn the blues into detonators because I am running out of moves a bit now, aren't I? The urgency of the situation is becoming all the more evident, baby dolls. Especially with how now I have to near enough get. 10 reds per move, pretty much, don't I? Not really a desirable situation to be in. And now we're starting to get a double Rubik's Cube next to each other, aren't we? Let's just hope it's not too late, baby dolls. Very nice. Definitely going to be tight now, I believe. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it again. Very close again, but it's not close enough to win. It was only like one move away, I think, wasn't I? Had a feeling this would shoot sideways, which is why I was trying to get um, better power ups, but couldn't quite do it in the end, could I? Yeah, this is looking like it could be a miserable attempt already, isn't it? <laughs> This is something at least, but I fear it's coming too late. I don't. I don't feel like I only needed that to do that one move in order to get the double Rubik's cubes. But I think you'll like it, it'd probably be foolhardy at this juncture to go for double Rubik's Cubes all the time, wouldn't it? So I feel it's best to just play it safe with my combination attempts at the moment. I know it feels lame, but... Often I feel like lame is my middle name, pretty much. At least we're not in the situation where we need, like, to get 10 reds uh, per move, are we? 
So there's something to content ourselves with. Double Rubik's Cubes now. I've started to think it'll be another failed order. Just don't have quite enough moves remaining. It was that slow start that did it, I think, that caused me to fail. It's hard to get a fast, decisive start on this level, though, isn't it? Oh, my mouse just double-clicked when I only wanted to single-click as well. Going dreadfully again, this, isn't it? Oh, this is something to get my hopes up, I suppose. Oh, we're on you, would start getting unlucky again. Yeah, this is just going to be even worse than the previous times, isn't it? Can you believe how terribly this is going? At least I'm finally starting to make a game out of it, but it's obviously it's going to be too late now, isn't it? Like I'm probably gonna end up having to buy more lives, doesn't it? At least I managed to get the reds below 100, but it's not really much of an achievement, is it? Who would have thought a fun high point scoring level could end up going so disastrous, eh? Looks like I'm starting to fail again, even, doesn't it? Well, we do have a high amount of moves now, even though we're starting to finally make that leeway for ourselves. Double Rubik's Cubes again. Again, we are in a much better position this time, aren't we? How we only need 95 and we've got 24 moves left. So that's like, yeah, enough less than 50 per, less than 50 reds per move. Uh, no, uh, that's like less than five reds per move needed pretty much, isn't it? So I'm going to finish in style, baby dolls, and get a huge score for my efforts as well, I do anticipate. Which I deserve after all the troubles I had earlier on with this level. 
and how it slowed me down with this video. Nice. This is going to be a phenomenal score, isn't it? I'm close to 500,000 even. Amazing score, I. Stealing on my OCD. So that was 650, wasn't it? So now, now we're on to 651. Now we're on to, now we're on to 651. Now we're on to 651 indeed. Which your second on. This is looking like an awkward layout as well with the UFOs on every other square for much of the board, isn't it? For much of the playing field. This will be good, long to it. Very satisfying caring all of those UFO lights come on, I think. Right, I'm going to do it again. Soon we're going to just have bubbles to deal with, aren't we? Funny how often just the last UFO can end up becoming quite a problem, isn't it? Okay, let's turn the greens into propellers and see how this goes. I was wondering if those re propellers would um, hit the UFO more than once, and they did. So that's good to know, isn't it? That helping us deal with them more effectively. Will this get me into first? <laughs> no. 
No, though that gets me very close. So now on to six, 652 we go. After all, you can't be first on every level, can you, a eh, baby dolls? Sometimes you've got to give the opposition a chance, haven't you, after all? And now we get rid of the top bricks so that um so that we have more chance and opportunities for moves available, don't we? I wonder if the jars will stop falling once I've got rid of enough of them. Or if you'll just keep falling down forever and always taking that space up in the middle. We still need to get lots of beach balls as well, don't we? Okay, let's try clearing up the space with the giant propeller. So now we've got the amount of um, beach balls needed below the amount of moves we have left. So there's some hope, but I must also not underestimate the task involving eliminating the sweet jars, mustn't I? <laughs> After all, I do have a bad tendency to get distracted with my objectives in these types of games. Also, it wouldn't be good if I allow myself to get swamped with the beach balls, will it? To the point where I can't make any good moves anymore. At least I'm still ahead of the beach balls with my moves. Still ahead of the amount of beach balls needed. I don't really anticipate much difficulty here, but can never really be sure, can you, until the fat lady has sung. Until the fat lady has sung all blank sang. I do believe she's sunk it now. Nice score, but it doesn't beat my top one. How long have I been playing? 35 minutes, that's alarming. So that was 652, wasn't it? Dealing with me all CD.
So that was 652, wasn't it? So now it's 653 we go. And this is it up here is a level with windmills and also and also Easter eggs. And even though it's a windmill level, I'm going to um, go for the big power-ups like I often do, being the show-off that I can be. Hopefully this will shoot down with a... Nice. Having a bit of trouble with the colours now though, aren't I? Hopefully this will shoot sideways, eh? No. That's one windmill gone, isn't it? There's a good sign and a ray of hope, I do believe. Just what I was hoping for, baby dolls. We can win now, I believe. Might be wise to deal to eliminate the Middle Easter eggs, I believe. It'll allow for us to accomplish some moves and combinations down here after all, won't it? Very nice indeed, I it's gonna be close, I believe. And here we have a Rubik's Cube, it's it up here. We're getting low on moves, so it's probably best to go for turning the reds into propellers, so let's hope this one shoots down, would I? Nice. Just where I needed baby dolls to build a shoot sideways, I hope. Yes. I'm doing well, finally. After that shaky start. And I'm nicely in first. So that was 653. Now on to 654, bye bye. Lots of ice and metallic bricks here and bubbles. Bubbles on every square, I believe. Because there's nine squares per column. 
nine blocks per column on a full-size playing field in this game, isn't it? A, a nine times nine is eighty-one. I remember at high school when I thought I, when I thought I'd impress. Well, no, I remember at a junior school when I thought I'd impress people by memorizing the answer to nine times nine. All I got in response to that was bemused chuckles, baby dolls. Chuckles of amusement, you could say. Not my particular desired result. But things are going as desired here, I believe, aren't they? Hoping this would shoot sideways, but we're still winning. That's the important thing, and we win. Maybe I'm on course for. Finishing 10 levels in this video now, I didn't quite beat my first score, but I came close. So that was 654 baby dolls, baby dolls, baby dolls, baby dolls, baby dolls. Down to 60, 655, which I'm first, which I'm first on. I believe I started this video on the level 648, isn't I? So we are indeed getting close to the 10 level mark for this video. Well, oh, this is a lot of toys, and I need to get to the bottom of the screen, isn't it? And a lot of these, and a lot of um, pumpkins I need to carve up as well. Might not, it might not be a very wise strategy to. Um, Keep going for double Rubik's cubes here, but I will still go for them when I can. When I feel there is a feasible possibility, I will be able to get them together. You know, if I use this yellow Rubik's Cube to eliminate all the yellows, I'll probably be able to get double Rubik's Cubes here. Yeah. And I do. I'd be taking a risk by going to double Rubik's Cubes again, but I can be a chronic risk taker at times, can't I?
made a bit of a pig's ear out of this, haven't I? Funny how, um, how do you pumpkin start coming so slowly at first, and then before you know it, you're pretty much flooded with them, aren't you? I'm doing well again now, I think. I was rather a lot of yippies. Rubius will get me to the top. Still able. Well, I was very close to beating my top score anyway. I'm doing good time wise. Dealing with my OCD. Now it's just for 656 we go. I'm starting to hope maybe I'll be able to even do 11 levels in this video, maybe. Oh, it's tough to say at this juncture. These levels are all fortunately at this point in time seeming fairly straightforward, aren't they? I'm thinking I should try and get some bubbles on screen before I um trigger the double Rubik's cube style. I mean the power-ups have seemed generally Colors have been generous thus far, but once the um, beach balls start filling the screen, well, um, that could limit my um, potential moves, availability of moves, doesn't it? As it's starting to do now, in fact. I wonder if the uh, beach balls will stop coming on the screen when I've got enough of them. Somehow I don't think they will. 
After all, that would make things somewhat easier, wasn't it? And I did have a feeling that they'd start swamping me, these uh, beach balls, didn't I? Need to remember to keep an eye on the objectives as well. After all, I still need to get two toys at the bottom of the screen. As well as the bubbles from the washing machines. Looking like I might not do it, in fact, now, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like a definite failure now. And just when I was starting to think I'd do 11 levels in this video. No. The life has its ways of humbling you, doesn't it? Serving you up those hearty slices of humble pie, you could say. Let's maybe turn the reds into detonators, I say. Yeah, let's do it now. There's only five toys to get to the bottom of the screen, but it's surprising how taxing that can get when the beach balls are everywhere, isn't it? I can't remember, did the beach balls stop coming when I had enough of them last time I played? Will this shoot downward? No. Funny how some of these levels kind of look um, straightforward, but then when you're, but then when you get stuck into it, various unanticipated difficulties start to reveal themselves, don't they? Unforeseen difficulties, you could say. Like another failure, this isn't it? Funny how the colours get really stingy as you got as you progress with this level, even though they start off good, isn't it? Looking like there's a possibility I might not even finish ten levels in this video as well, isn't it?
Makes you wonder if my strategy might be bad here as well, doesn't it? And that maybe I should start uh, triggering these power-ups as soon as I get them at the start. The good combinations of power-ups rather than trying to get bubbles out of the washing machines early on. After all, you don't need very many bubbles, do you? Given the sheer amount of... Um, Washing machines that there are and whatnot. At least I'm coming close to getting the toys down. At least I'm coming close to getting all the toys off the screen now. Is kind of a troubling prospect how I still need more bubbles than the amount of moves I have left, though, isn't it? So many bubbles are still needed, aren't they? Essentially, I need two bubbles per move now, don't I? Not to mention the beach balls as well. Seems like a failure to me. And I do believe it is a failure. Let's try again. Not sure how many moves I'll have, how many lives. We've only got an hour left as well, so let's see how many lives I've got. Two. So yeah, let's just try, try again. I'll uh, try to use up all my lives, I think, if I fail. This has ended up, ended up being surprising. This is ending up being surprisingly hard, this, isn't it? This could be a good start, maybe. Oh, 
Okay, let's trigger the double Rubik's cubes now. Yeah. And hope that puts us off to a good start. Not yet, no. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm almost finished. Uh. Okay, thanks. We are starting to get the amount of bubbles that we need on screen now, I believe. But that's one thing. I'd say that right now our most pressing issue is getting the toys to the bottom of the screen. Especially if there's only two of them on, on screen at the moment as well. At least we get two off in the one fell swoop there. And I do believe we'll do it now, especially if this propeller shoots upward. Nice. Yes. And we only managed to do nine levels, though, but it's still a respectable amount. <laughs> So that puts me in first also. And now I stop the video, so goodbye folks.